Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about a second collection type in Swift, dictionary. Dictionary is basically a collection of key value pairs. For example, D equal to math, 89, chemistry, 90, physics, 90, 79. So this is a dictionary of string and integer. The strings are the keys and the integers are the values. Another example, D2 equal to 3.42, 2.8, 4.5.6, 2.6.2. So in this case, the keys are the doubles and the values are booleans. The values inside of the dictionary can be accessed through the keys. For example, D math will return the score of math, which is 89. But watch out, what's get returned is not an integer. It's an optional integer. So it's a sum. 89. So this is different from array. When you access uh, some item inside an array by its index, what's get returned is the value, not an optional. If you try to access a key that's not in the dictionary, what's get returned is nil. Just for comparison, if you're accessing an item that's not in an array, that will be a runtime error. So these are the difference between array and the dictionary. D.count will return how many items in the dictionary. In this case, it's three. Just to clarify the syntax, a tuple can be created in a very similar way. For example, T is a tuple, and it has math 89, chemistry 90, physics 79. But these math, chemistry, physics are not keys. They are the names of the fields. So they are accessed through the dot syntax t.math will return the score of math. And what's get returned is the value, not an optional. Tuple is very different from dictionary. A tuple cannot grow or shrink. You cannot add new items to a tuple. You cannot remove items from the tuple. But with dictionary, you can. A value inside a dictionary can be modified by simply doing this dmath equal to 70. So dmath originally has 89, now it has a value of 70. Alternatively, you can use the function update value for key. So the chemistry is updated with the new value of 100. The difference between these two methods of updating value is the first one returns the new value, which is 70, and the second one returns the old value, which is 90. This method of updating is very convenient when you also want to check the old value. For example, if d.updateValue80 for key music equal to nil, which basically is saying that if the key of music didn't exist in the dictionary before the update, then we do something. Dictionary is often used with optional binding. For example, if let my score equal to dmath, this is basically saying if the key of math exists in the dictionary, then we do something with its score. To delete an item from a dictionary, you can simply assign that item to nil. Alternatively, you can use the function remove value for key. And again, the difference between these two methods is the first one return the new value and the second one return the old value. A dictionary is a value type, which means if I do D3 equal to D, I'm creating a copy of D and then assign to D3. So this is similar to array. Both of them are value types. To remove all the items from the dictionary, you can use the function remove all, but you also have the option to keep the capacity or not. If the dictionary will be reused again later on in a similar scale, you probably want to keep the capacity. Alternatively, you can simply assign an empty dictionary to it. This will also remove all the items in the dictionary and not keep the capacity. To iterate through a dictionary, we can take advantage of the tuple syntax. So for the key and value in dictionary, we do something with the key and the value. Note that a dictionary is not ordered, so you cannot guarantee that the iterating through a dictionary always happen in the same order. So keep that in mind. If you only want to iterate through the keys, you can do for x in d.keys and then do something with the key. 
Similarly, if you are only interested in the values, you can do 4x in d dot values and then do something with the values. An empty dictionary can be initialized with different ways. d1 is initialized with type annotation, d4 is initialized with the constructor style, and d5 is using the generic style. Whatever way you are using, once the dictionary is created, its type cannot be changed. So I can do d134 equal to bob, but I cannot do d1 bob equal to 34, because d1 is a dictionary with integer as a key and a string as a value. You cannot change that. You may ask the question, what kind of data can I use for keys? A data can be used as key for the dictionary as long as it is hashable. In other words, it is conforming to hashable protocol. An integer has a hash value of itself, a string has a hash value of a very strange number, a boolean has a hash value of either 1 or 0. And in the future we'll talk about how to create your own type of data and how to enable that data to be used as keys. That's all for now. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.